Hey guys, Steven here back with another video. And today I'm gonna to show you six must have photography apps that you can use on your phone. All these are free. They do have in-app purchases, most of them, um, but that's up to you if you want the pro features or like no ads, no watermark. A couple of these apps are popular, but you might've not known about it. Like you might've seen a certain effect or editing style, but you didn't know that this app produced it. So I'm gonna like kind of show you those popular ones, but I'm also gonna show you some unknown ones that I use personally. After watching this video, if you guys can comment your favorite app from this video, I'll be giving away a preset pack to one of you guys. So yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first app I'm gonna talk about is called Pixel Loop. It animates still photos for you. Um, so basically what you do is you set anchor points. Anything within these anchor points doesn't move. So if you're taking a picture of a person and you want the sky to move, you would set anchor points around the person. And to create the actual animation, you literally just swipe the direction you want everything to move. So if you swipe outwards, the image sort of moves outwards. The pro version allows you to do more than just a straight animation, like a straight line animation. But personally, I don't think there's a need for the pro version unless you want like 4K resolution or you want like a geometric path. To me, the basic like one line path is enough. And the great thing about this is you can um, export it as a GIF or a video file. The second app is called Pantone Studio and it's a lot different from the rest because it's not an editing app at all. Basically what it does is it creates color palettes for your photos. The reason I like it personally, it's not even used for like photography. It's not supposed to be at least. What I like it for is the presentation. On social media presentations, very important. You may notice like a lot of people doing that multi photo Instagram post. That's because it's important to stand out. So basically within the app, you would press on images and you would import an image and basically it selects five colors from that image. And when you go to share, there's a bunch of different templates you can share. And this is what I use the app for. If I ever wanna post like a photo set, it just looks really cool with the presentation and like the colors on the side. It's nothing really special, but I thought it was something cool to mention because you guys probably would not know about it unless I mentioned it. The next app is called Film 3D. It's really cool. You can use a bunch of overlays and there's no watermark on the pro version, so I recommend getting it. Basically, it creates 3D photos with your phone. Obviously, it doesn't do the job as good as a normal 3D camera, but it does its best. So once you're in the app, you can choose 2D or 3D. So you can use this as a normal camera app if you wanted to. All you do is press the shutter button and move your phone slightly right. So similar to like a panorama, then you would choose the focus point. So if you're taking a picture of someone's face, you will click on the face. And if you have the pro version, you can apply a bunch of filters, which I think is really cool. I think it's really handy and it creates a really cool effect for like Instagram stories and Instagram posts uh, when you don't necessarily have a good camera with you or something like that. The next app is called Huji. Basically, it replicates the 90s disposable camera look. A lot, a lot of people use this. It was very popular a couple years ago, like Kendall Jenner and a bunch of celebrities used it. When you open up the app, there's this sort of home screen. To get to the actual camera function, you wanna rotate your phone horizontal and look into the viewfinder. Now, when you take a photo in the app, it automatically applies the effects. You can choose to toggle off certain effects, like you can choose to turn off the date if you wanted to. With Huji, I would recommend getting the pro version just because you can't apply these effects to any old photo you have. You have to take the picture within the app if you are using the free version. If you do have the paid version, you can just add a photo and just choose any photo you want and then apply whatever effects you want. The next app is called RNI Films and it's probably the app I use the most out of these six. Um, basically, it's a photo editing app that replicates um, certain film stock. So they have a bunch of filters that look exactly like certain types of film. So for me, um, when I use my film camera, I shoot on Kodak Gold 200. And when I take pictures on film, I love how the colors look like. So if I ever wanted to replicate the colors on digital photos, so like photos on my phone, photos on my digital camera, I can just apply that same uh, filter. So it's really nice if you take pictures on film and digital. And they also have this really cool dust feature, which I use all the time on my photos. I just think it's a great addition to like noise. Noise is like normal, but like I love when you can just add dust. The last app is called Unfold. Basically, it's an Instagram story maker. It just has a bunch of layouts you can use. There's a bunch of apps similar to Unfold. I just like this one in particular just because the minimalism. I wouldn't recommend this over any other one. It's really just preference. I feel like a lot of other ones have a lot more to choose from. But yeah, when you get on the app, there's a bunch of templates you can choose from. Um, there's a lot of free ones and there's a lot of paid ones. I got the pro version, so I have all of them. But yeah, I think it's once again good for presentation. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Remember to comment your favorite app in the comment section. 
And yeah, with that being said, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.